Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we're going to take a look at a brand new updated feature that nobody's really talking about or even noticed yet on Samsung One UI 6.1. Now I noticed this on the Galaxy S24 series. This is the update that you just did a few days ago. It's around that size of 819 megabytes, gives you that security patch of April 1st. I already did that update over here on my personal phone and this is where I was able to find that brand new feature. Now I believe you may see this on the Galaxy S23 series, the Flip 5, the Fold 5, and maybe even the Galaxy Tab S9 series, because those also got the Samsung One UI 6.1 update as well. So let me know in the comment section below if you own any of those devices, if you see this brand new updated feature. So because this phone over here has not been updated with that update just yet, we're gonna go inside of device care, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like before and after. So this is where you wanna go inside of device care, head inside of your battery information. And what you will notice is a change of some information displayed and shown inside of your battery usage. So when you look at the battery usage information screen, everything on the top for both of these versions of device care is pretty much the exact same. But when you take a look down over here at the graphs, this is where they do differ. Now, if you're curious on the version of the device care that we're using, because battery information is inside of device care, you're just gonna look right up over here. And this was one that I missed that I didn't look at with the past update. And this is why I always look at different version numbers of different applications and services with every update. You can see the old one was 138548. The new one is 138611. So definitely a brand new version of device care. Obviously you can see it because now the graph is going to be different and you actually have two different choices of what you would like to look at. And the way that the older version setup is, is basically today. You're looking at midnight to basically midnight and you're able to see when you charged it, when you put on your battery saving, when it was actually being in use and all that good stuff. Now, when you look at these details here underneath, underneath today, it's pretty much the exact same information. You have last charge to 8% and that was, you know, before it was basically turned off and I charged it to 100, but I stopped charging four hours and 50 minutes ago. This one over here stopped charging 12 hours and 59 minutes ago. So basically 13 hours ago is when it was stopped. And then when you tap on the graph itself, this is where you'll see one additional line that is being supplied. So up over here, you just have battery usage and screen on time. Now over here, you have your battery usage, screen on time and screen off time. So you can actually know exactly the breakdown of when it was basically taken off the charger or when it hit the 100% on how long the screen was on and how long the screen was off. Now, because this device over here does not have the down arrow, we're gonna go over here just on this phone itself and we'll take a look at the since last charged. Now, this one will tell you that the last charge was up to 100% and I stopped charging it basically 13 hours ago. I have a little line letting me know that we're sitting at 19% and we still have three hours and 13 minutes left. Now, when you tap on this graph, you'll get a little bit more details. Now over here, you have used 80% in 13 hours, screen on time, five hours and 36 minutes, screen off, seven hours and 18 minutes, and then you can still see this graph here. And then as you scroll down, you can see all the other applications. So that'll be pretty much the same thing on this one over here when you take a look, you know, when it comes down to your daily, uh, uh, you know, for the whole day rather than the last charge. You can still see everything sitting up over here. You can take a look at when you were most active and then all the applications that you have used. So with this one, this is since last charge. This is only showing you since it was last charge. It's gonna give you that graph. If you do move this one back over into, let's see, if you move this one back over into the today and then you tap on the graph, then this is where you get all of this stuff similar to over here. So you have two different ways you can view your usage with battery. And this just kind of lets you know when you're using it. You can see I was very, very heavy here and that was when everything went down. There was a very big activity or event that happened in whiteout. So I had to be involved with that. It was a state versus state thing. So that was where it went down quite a bit. I threw on the power saving mode just so you can see how it's also documented with inside of the battery information. And that is pretty much all that I wanted to show you and how everything was different. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a video that I shot last night, which was when I realized that this update was sitting there. And I wanted to show you what the graph looked like last night, just so you can kind of see the battery usage that I've used on a day that was super, super heavy versus a day that was just kind of normal and average. 
So right here, just letting you know, a full charge will last about 17 hours and 40 minutes. Now, when you take a look down over here, it looks pretty much the exact same, except for there is now a down arrow. So from before, you can see your whole entire day from basically midnight to midnight. You can see my last charge was up to 100%, and I stopped charging 15 hours ago. Now, the thing that you can look at now is if you hit this down arrow, you can take a look at since the last charge. So as I was at 100% and I started using the phone, this is where you can see this graph now that wasn't there from before. And it also gives you a little bit of a line letting us know where we are. So we still have one hour and 46 minutes left and we are sitting down at 10%. It just kind of shows it in two different areas. Now, the thing that you were able to do from before is tap on that little graph and then it gives you some more details. You can actually compare it versus all the rest of the other days. You can see your screen off time, your screen on time, your battery usage that you've used when you are actually using it. But you'll notice that there's a full entire brand new line right here, which is screen off time of eight hours and six minutes. So you're just getting more details about your usage. And you can see right here that I am using that adaptive charging. So basically it charges all the way up. It goes to about 80, 85%. It's going to sit there and it knows my schedule of when I wake up. So by the time I wake up, it is then now sitting at 100%. I unplug it and then I can use it for the rest of the day. Before this phone, before the adaptive charging stuff was there, I was not charging it through the night. I always charged it before I went to bed and then I passed out. And then when I woke up, if I needed to charge it, I would. Um, but other than that, because of adaptive, I'm just now using this mostly as a test. But you can see how much battery usage is being used, your screen on time. So still, I am getting a pretty good screen on time of over seven hours. I still have 10% left. My screen off time is at eight hours and six minutes, and you can take a look at all of the rest. So when you take a look at this one, you can see how I've done from the day before. So I used 99% of the battery. I still had over seven hours of screen on time with screen off time being at 15 hours. So I at least wanted to show what it looked like for today, which is Friday night, to kind of give you what it shows right now, because I don't know what time I'll be filming this on Saturday, but I at least wanted to see you or show you the entire graph along with what, you know, the rest is all kind of showing. So there is a few updates to the screen. So that is everything that I wanted to share in today's video. I wanted to let you know this brand new version sitting over here. And really the biggest thing is this drop down taking a look at the last time charged. This is just giving you a different graph, a little bit more information and different information that we weren't getting over here earlier. And all this change, where it came from, is this last update that the Galaxy S24 series just received a few days ago. So if you see this one, hit update, resume, get it downloaded, and then you'll have this brand new feature right here. Now there is quite a few brand new features or updates or improvements when it comes down over into this update here, which is why it's so big, that 800 megabytes. And I shot a video showing you everything and all of the improvements was mostly inside of camera. And now we also saw that it was an improvement inside of device care. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.